Welcome back to the channel everybody. So today we're going to be looking at a new VR game that released on Steam and that is All-in-One Sports VR. Now this released on the 26th of February and I have been playing it for a couple hours now and there is a lot to like in this game. There's also some parts of it that definitely need some improvement. So for starters, the main menu that you go in once you start the game, where you pick which sport you're gonna be playing, is fantastic. I could spend the majority of my time just sitting here watching all of the different characters, playing all of the different sports. And to pick a sport that you wanna play, you just grab the player and bring them into what looks like a coliseum to start the game. So I've gone through each one of these and I do have some thoughts on each sport and we will get into that right now. So first up, we have darts. This is the first game that I tried, and sure enough, it crashed my computer. I don't know what it is, but every single time that I select darts, it loads, and I get to throwing my first or second dart, and it crashes. Like, it powers off my computer completely. Now, I have no overclock or anything that would cause unusual amounts of stress to my computer and cause it to shut down, so I'm not exactly sure what's happening here. It seems like it's a fault built into the game, as it happens consistently at the same point in darts only. Everything else seems to work fine. So I will be reaching out to the makers of this game just to let them know to see if this is a known issue or did not realize and that they can fix with a update. All these games kind of bring me back to the days of the Wii with characters that aren't really focused on accuracy and more cartoony. They're, they're pretty fun looking. Uh, a lot of them don't have arms, which is kind of unusual, but this game is built for fun and for family fun if you have people old enough to use whatever headset you're using. So in my case, I was using the Quest 2 and I had virtual desktop running uh, to access the game through Steam, and it worked flawlessly. I was getting 90 frames per second through my entire gameplay and didn't notice any performance issues. It is nice to be able to throw in a wireless headset and set up your play environment using the Guardian out in something like the living room where there's plenty of space you're not going to hit anybody because some of these sports do make you move around a little bit, like, uh, like baseball and golf and badminton, those definitely required a larger room to play in. Uh, I tried a lot of the testing in my room where I'm currently recording this audio and it is not exactly the biggest. So I definitely hit the table a couple times, smacked my chair around. So it is recommended that you have a bigger space to play in. One of my favorite sports to play in this was archery. I've been looking for an archery game for a very long time. And although this is kind of limited in what you can do, it is still fun and the game mechanics through all the sports really are pretty fine-tuned. What this game is going to be great for is picking it up, playing some of the different challenges, and then putting it away. It is not a play for several hours immersive kind of game. Baseball was fun, entertaining. Uh, there's two different modes that you can play. One is just batting, the other is playing both sides, so you're pitching and batting. The table tennis or ping pong is also pretty awesome. Um, you can put spin on the ball. You can, you know, have different power levels when you're hitting it. So it does take a little bit of getting used to. I, I did hit off the table quite a bit because I was hitting it too hard. Um, but overall, again, the game mechanics are, are decent and it allows for some pretty accurate play. Having the crowds around you cheering is a nice touch. You also have um, screens around and what looks like a judge for every sport you know it's just to make the whole experience a little bit nicer I did have a little bit of issue when I was playing golf being able to select different clubs uh, it seems like it's set up to use a Vive controller with touch to the left and right selecting your club and on the oculus controllers we don't have that touch support so I wasn't quite sure how to switch the clubs. I'll have to investigate a little bit further. Didn't have a lot of time because I was trying to record all the different sports here. But again, the game mechanics of golf are pretty good. 
not the greatest because it's not a dedicated golf game. It kind of encompasses all the different sports, so it is pretty basic, but overall, I did thoroughly enjoy it. Except for the fact that I kept hitting the ball when I didn't want to, which counts as a shot and caused me to lose several times. But once you get used to it, it's not bad. And the scenery around the golf course here is pretty nice. Pool was pretty entertaining, although I did have some issue selecting which ball I wanted to hit based on the angle of the club. I'm not sure how I would rotate around the table. I didn't really see any controls that would be able to allow for movement other than just angling the stick. So for a shot that I wanted to hit to the right on some of the balls on the other side of the table, I would have had to move all the way around. And again, I was in my room, so I didn't have a lot of space. I would have to move all the way around to get the angle uh, to line up, which of course that would be how it was in real life. but. It is kind of hard to do this when you're in a standing room only and not a room scale environment. That being the case, it was still pretty fun and I did like the mechanics of this and how they set it up for you to play. It's also nice to see a little bit of whiskey on the table, uh, Johnny Walker and wow. some other adult beverages sitting around these tables. So basketball was one of the hardest ones for me to get right. I still don't quite know how to shoot. It looks simple, you just grab it with the trigger and then let go. But it is not how it's supposed to be. If you try to do an accurate shot, it doesn't go anywhere near where it's supposed to. So you kind of have to adjust for how it wants you to throw the ball up. It is fun. I do like the environment with the people in the stadium here. They do showcase other sports up on, on the screen there. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of cheering and it's pretty fun. They do have boxing and I was kind of sad to see that you weren't actually boxing an opponent, instead doing the Beat Saber type of boxing where it's coming at you with the different moves. Um, I did notice that you had to get it just right and I was missing a whole lot. Again, I didn't want to punch too hard because I didn't want to smack into something. For me, this is one of my least favorites of all the sports, but it was okay. And on to badminton. This one was challenging. I actually did not win any of the matches that I played because it is so accurate in how you have to hit it. You have to hit it soft, you have to hit it in the right direction, and any variation will cause it to go out of bounds or too short. So for me, it's fantastic and I love it, but it's very difficult. And this was the first level. So I will be revisiting this, playing it again, and trying to master it. Clearly it's going to take a while. This is another one of the games where you do have to watch out what's in your space because you will be swinging pretty hard uh, in all different directions and reaching out. And I hit my chair a couple times on this game. I also hit my table once, busted up my knuckle a little bit. So be careful, be aware of your surroundings, and play with enough space. Then we have bowling. Bowling was a challenge for me, and I still have not gotten a rhythm down of how I'm supposed to bowl. If you try to bowl accurately like you normally would, it does not go straight. It keeps going into the gutter to the left or the right. I did have the occasional nice straight shot, but then it adds spin on it and it would spin right back into the gutter. I wasn't a huge fan of bowling. I think that it could use some adjustments to make it a better experience. So I think for, for this, they need to make it like some of the other ones, which is not really focused on making everything perfect, but being more enjoyable. Or of course they could set up a difficulty level which would would alleviate those issues you could have an easy medium and hard the hard being you have to get everything perfectly right where the easy was you know more about how many strikes can you get in a row and back in the menu you also have the option of customizing your character putting on different shirts different heads colors changing everything about them their hair uh, what accessories they have on and it does look like there are some things that you can unlock by winning different challenges. I'm not really sure where those challenges were. I didn't see them, but clearly there's locks on some of these items. So I'm sure getting like a like a hole in one or not a perfect strikeout or something. Things like that will, oh, there you go. You can see as you scroll over, it tells you what you need to accomplish to unlock those items. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the review of all in one sports. I think overall this game is pretty fun. It has some awesome game mechanics and a bunch of different sports that you can try out. 
and for the money, I think it's definitely worth it. We've needed a game like this that has all these different sports in one go, and here we have it. What I'd like to see is a uh, Oculus Quest version that you can download directly from the headset and play it without having a virtual desktop. I hope that's coming in the future. For now, we have a Steam version, so you have to use virtual desktop to connect to it or the link. So it is available now. There is a 30% discount if you get it right away. So go ahead and check that out, download it, and start playing some sports. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.